Um, but one of the things that attracted me to English Lutheran was the, the concept we talk about in Lutheran theology, a priesthood of all believers. I like to talk about it in terms of the equality of all believers, that we really walk the talk, that our church has really gone through those changes over the years, and we walk the talk. We believe in the equality of all believers. We welcome people. We don't, we don't separate people out um, as to whether or not they are practicing or not practicing. We treat everybody as though they're on a spiritual journey. Um, so when I talk about radical Christianity, I think that's what we're about. I believe that thankful living is really about how you share your gifts. You need to decide where you're going to put your foot down. Um, my wife and I put our foot down um, serving the homeless in La Crosse. So um, I've been involved from the beginning with all the homeless initiatives for our warming shelter and for our uh, hospitality house. Because of my public health background, I've been involved with St. Clair Health Mission since they opened, doing social work and intake. Um, and Doing it, being able to share your background gifts in a way where you're engaged in the community, not because you're working there, but you're helping directly working with other people in the community, like at St. Clair, where we have over 250 volunteers and nurses and doctors and pharmacists, and you know, is an amazing experience. You develop these different relationships with people. And that, to me, helps me understand why I need to be grateful and thankful for what I have. I would say that uh, I have certainly had a lot of difficult lifeboat experiences in the last few years since I retired. Um, mostly medical challenges that continue. And throughout all those struggles, um, I've had tremendous support from my Franciscan community and from my Lutheran community in particular. And it's really, really important. You know, I've, I've seen this happen in the last few years as I go to funerals. It's really, really important for us to have a place and a grounding where we are in our spiritual journey. And it is, no, it is critical when things, life's challenges happen to you, that you have that support, that you're, that, that you're not isolated out there, that you have other people in the church and your pastors who are there to support you and help you and, and hear your story. You know, and it just got me to thinking about how we try so much in English to do ecumenical outreach. We did that, you know, one of the, one of the wonder, most wonderful events that ever happened to me in English Lutheran Church was when we did our outreach with Ron Colley Newman and we went over that day to, uh, to, to meet at the church there and then walked over to English. And that was the original Catholic church I went to before I went to English. And I was there doing music ministry for, for quite a while, actually. And I have a lot of friends who go to church at Iran Kali, Iran Kali even now. And we walked over together. A lot of my friends were actually in that group. And they sat with me in English Lutheran for service. And um, several of them are Franciscan affiliates. Vince Hatt, who was, our, who was key in organizing, was, is an affiliate that I've been in leadership with. And I never dreamed in a million years that I would be sitting in church at English with my Catholic friends who, it, you know, it was like an amazing experience for me. I just was in heaven to see that happen.